Good morning, my happy are back. Here's the plan, more of the same. Same as I said yesterday, but still, as I also said yesterday, it's good same. Tiling in bathrooms, tiling on balconies, still some more work on the little cabinet that Richard was working on. Mr. Jesse Bamba is back working on electrical issues. At the moment, he's down by the carport. And then there's still flooring, the topping process, currently focused in Alex's room at the back of the house. And I'm sure there'll be other bits and pieces going on today. We do have a celebration at the end of the day, not to do with the crew, to do with the family. And we do have a special guest, very special for us anyway. What could possibly go wrong? Here's our special guest, grandson Adio, down to visit from Manila. And he's following in daddy's footsteps. He's going to be a basketball star. We will be having a small family gathering this evening uh, for a birthday celebration for brother-in-law Khoi Dong, the man of perpetual motion. Uh, Glenn, the pool guy, was in this morning uh, doing his cleaning. As always, the problem with a pool of this size, he's only been gone a few minutes and I can already see a couple of bugs on the surface. And he was quite diligently cleaning for an hour this morning. But never mind, we can give it a quick whiz around again before anybody wants to jump in. Water's still looking good. Richard is still working on the small cabinet for the master bedroom. I'm not sure what he's gonna do with it next. In the dining room, we've got Melvin and Herwin, both working on mud and tape in here. So we saw this yesterday, uh, I think I said that Melvin by himself had probably done what I guess was about a third. I'm sure between them, they'll knock this off probably before the end of the morning. In Alex's room, we have original Rico and over here, O'Donnell, working on the topping for the bedroom and the walk-in closet here. Mr. Rene is back on Jack's balcony. Uh, I guess going to be finishing off, well I'm not sure about finishing, but getting to work on the edging of all of this tiling. Interestingly, I'm just added water onto the surface. I don't know what's the function of that. We'll see if we can find out in a while. Uh, I did notice just before I switched the camera on, they were also checking the levelness, the grade, the pitch of the floor so that hopefully now it does slope very slightly away from the house. We have just checked in various different angles and there is a very, very slight grade to this floor, it's, it's tiny, but it does slope very marginally in general towards this corner. Oh, we've got very bright light coming into a dark room. Hopefully we can balance this a little bit, but here in Jack's bedroom, just a little bit of clean up on the floor before the guys get to work again on the wall tiles. They've already mixed up a bunch of plaster, uh, well, adhesive, We'll see, I'm not, I'll have to check what's in there uh, that they'll use to adhere those tiles to the walls. And we will try and follow a little bit of that later on in the day. Just rechecked with the engineer and the, uh, I've mentioned it before, but just to say again, the order will be walls, then the ceiling, and then back to tiling the floor. Uh, the one thing we haven't seen yet is the colour scheme for the ceiling, but uh, I'm sure it'll be a good match. In Sabrina's room, tiling begins again. 
probably later in the day, this is the room we'll, we'll try and see what the process is. It's just because of the lighter tiles, maybe a little easier to follow in here. Yeah. Singing Rico is singing. Oh, it's good to see that first thing in the morning. Uh, he's just emerged from delivering some material in for O'Donnell to get started here in Alex's walk-in closet. But for now, O'Donnell's just rechecking that all the string lines are correctly in place. We're still seeing uh, very low battery levels on the solar system first thing in the morning. Uh, today, once again, they were at 26% when I had a look about 15 minutes ago. One possibility is that the panels have got dust on their surface. Just general dust from the build, from the fact that this ground is very dusty, from the fact that the road has been constructed just outside. So we're going to see if we can get someone up there to help us out a little bit and just give them a, a little bit of a, a cleaning to see if that makes any difference. What I didn't check last night, and I should have done, but I got distracted, was what was the level of those batteries towards the end of the day when it had had quite a lot of sun uh, yesterday, not too much cloud. So we'll try again tonight to start that process of checking on a daily basis what is the battery level at 4.35 o'clock and then again what is it first thing in the morning. It's kind of mid to late morning, thought we'd have a quick wander around and we've got now two Bedroom cabinets. No idea where all these are going to go. Doesn't matter. Mud and tape in the dining room is continuing apace. We still have Melvin up top, and Herwin's just mixing up some more skim coat down there. Right, we're going to see if we can capture a little bit of the process of attaching these wall tiles. So it starts with a mixture of cement and the tile adhesive. Apparently it's a one-to-one -one mixture with a little bit of water. And it ends up looking like that. Which to me looks the same as every other pile of gray sludge that we've seen throughout this build, but slightly different combination of ingredients this time. This is where we got to in Sabrina's bathroom. So a fair bit of this wall is done. And a fair bit of this wall is done. And we'll just stick around now until the next tile goes on the wall. We have to be very slightly patient. They're just, it looks like putting a platform in so they can go a little bit higher with the next tiles. So this is Don Don, one of our two new tilers. Uh, he's just getting some of the uh, mixture, <laughs> most of it at least, up onto the platform uh, and then off he goes. It, it's actually quite good to see that the platforms, not everywhere, but a lot of the platforms they're using are pretty sturdy. Although in this particular case, because if you watched very early in the process, we made a change in this bathroom. Uh, originally, there was gonna be a, um, a walk-in closet so it would have been bathroom, walk-in closet, bedroom. But we removed the walk-in closet from the plan. It just meant that the bathroom uh, and the bedroom just felt too small, particularly the bathroom. So what that meant was they had not left a big enough drop area for this wet room. So right now, the platform is perched, not too precariously, but it is perched a little bit on an angle. But here we go. Looks like Don Don's about to put the next tile in with some help from, in this case, Elson. Let's see if we can get in there. It's a bit crowded and I don't want to get in their way. So Don Don's just packing in a bit more of the mix uh, towards the top of the tile. We'll come back when he's finished that bit. While we're waiting, Owen's shipping out uh, one of that adhesive on a tile that they weren't happy with before. Uh, it apparently just didn't adhere properly 
so they've taken it off, removing the adhesive, and then they'll redo it. The thickness of the adhesive is apparently about 1.5 millimeters, although, I don't know, to my eye, it looks more than that. We could have a translation issue with that. I would say that's more than one and a half millimeters. Quite a bit more. I think the tile thickness, I believe, is 2.5 millimeters. Looks to me like there's at least as much of the adhesive in, in depth. I'll see if we can get clarity on that a little later on. We've also got a lot more progress in the somewhat darker, more moody bathroom in Jack's room. So those thicknesses were way off. Uh, we'll just have another look. The tile itself is about 0.7 of a centimeter and the adhesive is just about the same. The total depth, we just measured one, is about one and a half centimeters. So it's roughly the same depth of adhesive as there is on the, the tile itself. And as you can see, it is adhesive both on the wall and then on the back of the tile as well. And it's just sort of slid into place. Oh, and at that point, it still has the protective plastic on it. And now it's coming off. Oh, is it? Yeah, in a second, I guess. So, again, just putting in the spaces to leave the appropriate gap for grout. And the hammering begins. I imagine it'll be a fair bit of it. tidy up the adhesive that squishes out what's interesting here well at least to me is there are no string lines there's nothing to give them a guide on the depth so it's purely by experience. And it clearly is quite a lot of the adhesive that is pushed out. But nothing wasted, that'll get reused. I'll leave it for now and I'll just stay around for a little bit, a few moments, and see if there's any other part to this process. Inevitably I missed it, but yeah, right at the end there, just remove the plastic protective cover on the tile. Clean up. I think we're sort of done. Well, at least we're mostly done. There might be a, I imagine, a little bit of checking of how level everything is. Maybe some tiny adjustments to positions, because at the moment there's no spaces between the two tiles uh, going across and got at the bottom, but that's all just at the moment. 
Yeah, add a fiddly bit. This will adjust me, making sure everything's exactly where I want. That's wall tiling for you. At least, as wall tiling here. Back on Jack's balcony, we're getting the final parts of tiles in all the fiddly areas. So Mr. Rene is just sticking one in over in that corner. And at the same time, Coelito just cleaning out in between the cracks. In Alex's room, topping screed is continuing. Rico's working on this room. These cabinets are just sprouting. We've now got, well not finished, but we've now got five of them. Which I suppose kind of makes sense because there's five bedrooms upstairs. I don't know if there's space to do one of these in the helper's room. Possibly not. The bell has just gone. It's four o'clock Saturday, so half an hour earlier finish. We'll have a whiz around. Uh, we didn't do anything after lunch because the video was already getting a little bit long. So, starting here in Sabrina's bathroom. I think that's probably the height they got to on this wall previously. But on this side, I've got to be careful where I tread. It's all the way up there. Uh, these bathrooms are 2.7 meters to the, to the ceiling. So I assume that's probably where we are now. They don't yet have the tile trim to do in the corners. So they're still waiting for that to come, hopefully next week. In Jack's bathroom, not quite up to height yet on either side. One lonesome tile over on the far wall. But that's uh, quite a lot of progress for what is it, two days? Or is that three now? I've lost count. Jack's balcony. The tiling's still not quite done. I've got this area uh, close to the house. If you can see water on the surface, it's because we've just had two hours of an absolute deluge of rain. Um, but there's nothing sitting here. So I guess the angles are working. In Alex's bedroom, they've got the guides down all the way across the bedroom. We'll wander in. I shall have to be very careful, so this might get a bit wobbly. We'll see if there's anything else around the corner. Well, a little tiny bit at the far end of the walk-in closet. The master bedroom balcony, I think that's where we were before. It's possible there's a tiny bit more than there was. Maybe that last row is new, but something that is new, they've started getting the topping down inside the bedroom. The dining room ceiling looks to my untrained eye as if they may have finished all of the mud and tape in here. One little bit of good news today. We've got the message that the sink that we've been waiting for, for the dirty kitchen, has now arrived. It's taken weeks. This is the second time we've been notified of this. First time, when we went and had a look at it, it was dented and not in good condition. So hopefully this time, they've got what we need. Uh, we'll try and get in there probably tomorrow and see if we can pick it up. The end of the day, the end of the work week. Uh, we do currently have uh, one of our other grandsons here. Uh, the younger one had to leave this morning, but we had the oldest grandson, Lexus, is here. He's just spent the last 10 minutes skimming insects and bits off the top of the pool. He's desperate for go to go for a swim. I'll probably join him. But an absolutely cracking week. Finishing has commenced. If you can even put that into a sentence. Uh, with patios, sorry, balconies and bathrooms, getting some tiles. We really do feel like we're approaching the last leg of the journey now. 
it's still going to be a very very long last leg but once those finishes start to go on something feels like it's changed for us and it's a great change absolutely completely once again build delicious see you next week